Now everyone here knows that I love to smoke a good cigar. Uh, it just evokes so much romance of how a gentleman spent his time in the evenings, you know, surrounded by good company, great conversation, and it's just a way to commit to time and to commit to really enjoying oneself. Now back in the day, uh, this would be done with the proper accoutrement. Either it was after dinner and you were still wearing your dinner suit, which would have been a tuxedo, or if you were at home, slightly more casual, if you will, or if you were entertaining at your club, you would be doing it with a smoking jacket. So here we are, let's unbox this and see what we have. So this was made by Davidge Himmerjani uh, at kind of Himmerjani Brothers. Of course, they ship all their suits on one of our Kirby Allison hangers. One of the true benefits of buying a suit from the Himmerjani Brothers. Um, of course, Davidge now has kind of struck out on his own. Davidge.com kind of helped me design this jacket, and it actually took them quite a bit of time to have this made uh, because of the amount of work that went into finding some of the special details that go into a smoking jacket that are really quite uncommon. So let's open this up and see what we have. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Holland and Cherry fabric, bottle green, velvet, matching bottle green, uh, satin facings on the lapel, shawl collar, uh, absolutely beautiful frogging, which I'll talk about in a minute. But look at this beautiful jacket. I can't wait to put this on. Again, smoking jackets are really unique. Uh, kind of the historical context of a smoking jacket is that after a dinner, of course, the gentleman would be dressed in black tie. They would retire into um, a room to smoke and enjoy port together. The women would go drink sherry. And uh, to ensure that they don't come home that night uh, smelling like smoke, uh, the smoking jacket was developed. They'd take their dinner jacket off, put this on, and it really was exclusively used uh, for smoking. Now, most high quality tailored clothing, if it's made from 100% natural fibers, uh, can release the odors pretty quickly and easily. This just was that extra bit of insurance. And of course, everyone enjoys dressing up a little bit and a smoking jacket without question uh, is fun to dress up in. Now, where this falls in the taxonomy of clothing is really quite formal. It's one step under a dinner jacket. Uh, you know, if you really wanted to push the boundary, you could even wear this to a black tie event. You sometimes see people on the red carpet at like the Oscars actually wearing a smoking jacket instead of a proper dinner jacket. It's completely appropriate. You would wear this with a white shirt and a bow tie, a pair of tuxedo trousers, a pair of slippers, if not patent leather, a pair of uh, proper embroidered slippers would maybe even be more appropriate. And it is, again, a very unique and very specific piece of kind of tailoring tradition. Now, what separates a smoking jacket from a normal jacket? Well, really, it's the style. They're traditionally always made in velvet, and they would be one of your jewel colors, so emerald green, sapphire blue, or a really rich kind of ruby burgundy. You wouldn't traditionally find this in black because it would look too similar to a dinner jacket. And normally they were always differentiated by being one of those three colors. Uh, and again, always in a rich velvet. Uh, they're always shawl collar. Uh, here you see we've got a beautiful kind of matching uh, satin facing here that again gives it that touch of formality. Uh, and the other thing that you'll notice that's very unique uh, is this embroidery. You see it here on the sleeve uh, and across the jacket. This is actually called frogging. Uh, it's modeled after uh, the design you would find in a traditional officer's mess jacket. Uh, and again, it's just that touch of additional detail and formality that really sets a dinner jacket or a smoking jacket apart from a dinner jacket. So you see it here. This uh, style can vary from uh, tailor to tailor. You can also see turn up cuffs here sometimes, again, with satin uh, facing. Uh, again, this is a double-breasted jacket. Again, that touch of formality. Uh, we don't have any, uh, well, we actually have front pockets here, right, with a nice kind of besom pocket. And again, more kind of frogging across here. This right here actually is what secures the jacket. So this simply goes over that. Again, nice kind of a touch of detail. So double vents, open it up. Again, this is from him or Johnny Brothers or Davidge.com. Uh, it has my name right here. You see this uh, detail right here at the interior pockets. Uh, this is a little uh, additional kind of sweat band right here to help prevent uh, any armpit sweat uh, from showing through. Uh, and again, one of the things I love about the Himmer Johnny Brothers is that uh, they really are quite talented and quite versatile. Um, and they can make almost anything. This took a little bit more time as they were kind of working to source some of these interesting details and finding the tailor that could really do this handwork. Uh, but this is a totally handmade garment. 
So great jacket, I'm so excited to be adding this uh, to my wardrobe. Let me know what you think. Would you wear a smoking jacket uh, if you were to have one made? Which color would you choose? Are there any details uh, missing from this jacket that you would add to yours or any details uh, that you would change? Let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, the next time I light up a cigar, you're gonna see me wearing this beautiful smoking jacket from davidge.com. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.